Impressing. Being likable and attractive is a difficult and complicated process. These are subjective terms and things that will, of course, be different for everyone. So let's start with something that's a little more quantifiable and repeatable: impressiveness. How do you make sure that when someone has spent time interacting with you, they come away thinking that you're an impressive and capable individual? This is an important trait to obtain because if you are considered impressive. It means that they'll be more likely to listen to your point of view, more likely to want to work with you, and generally more likely to take you seriously. The cardinal rule of impressiveness. Before we dive in any further, let's start with a cardinal rule of impressing people. That is, don't try to impress people, or at least don't make it appear as though you are trying. Here is how it goes: When you try to impress someone, it sends a message that you want their approval. That in turn sends a signal that they are higher than you on the food chain. If you are trying to impress them, then you must think that they are more important or more impressive than you are. And if you think that or appear to, then they will think that too. The other problem with trying to actively impress a person is that it then creates an ulterior motive for what you say and do. In other words, anything you subsequently say will now risk appearing to have been crafted to impress. Are you really a poet? Or are you just playing that up, seeing as a person already knows you want to impress them? At the worst end of this, trying to impress people makes you come across as though you lack self-awareness. The belief that you can easily fool someone into being impressed with you, and that you won't see through their attempts to wow them, often does little other than to demonstrate a lack of understanding of how you are coming across. So this is rule one hundred one: if you want to be more impressive, you need to become indifferent. And you need to act like yourself. You don't actively seek to brag or to work your accomplishments into the conversation. By appearing like you aren't desperate to impress anyone, you send the message that you don't need their approval, which is instantly more impressive and attractive. Tip of the iceberg. So if you can't actively work your best qualities into a conversation, what can you do to make sure that people come away impressed with their interaction with you? The first and most important tip. Is to be knowledgeable and to speak eloquently and confidently on all subjects as much as possible. The way you do this: simple. Know your stuff. Have you ever spoken to someone who seems to have an encyclopedic knowledge of their area of expertise and who is brimming with interesting and intellectual things to say? After such an interaction, it's very hard not to come away impressed. But very few people are that knowledgeable on every topic. Most of us have particular subjects that we're passionate about. And that we know a lot about speaking on the subjects you're passionate about. Then is something you should always aim for when possible, as this way you'll be able to speak with passion and knowledge and demonstrate your knowledge in context. Passion is something we're going to be coming back to again and again in this training, and you're going to see that this is something that can make you incredibly more dynamic, engaging, and impressive. And if you know that you're going to be speaking about subjects of which you are not an expert. Then do your research prior to going, and make sure you've read up on the subjects that you're going to be encountering. For example, if you'll be going to a conference for a particular industry, then it makes sense to spend time reading up on that industry, reading up on the attendees, and reading recent relevant news. Easy wins. Doing your research prior to important meetings is a good idea. Then, but what if you aren't going to a particular event? What if the conversation changes? The good news is. That there are, of course, some relatively easy wins. These are things you can read up on, research, and learn that will help you in any conversation. For example, reading up on the news is something that can make you appear well informed and interested in a wide range of situations. If you're visiting a particular area or country, take the time to learn about the area and the recent news. Lots to offer. Of course, the easiest way to appear impressive is to be impressive. In other words. If you are genuinely multi-talented with lots of areas of interest, lots to offer, and lots of experience, then it is likely to come up. So, something that everyone should be looking to do is develop themselves and expand their skill set, their knowledge, and what they have to offer. There is no reason to be a specialist in just one subject. You can be a polymath, an expert in many, especially thanks to the internet and just how easy it is to look up lessons or courses on any subject. That you want to get better at. If you want to speak impressively, then the key is to find that subject that you're going to love. Again, it comes down to passion. So if you choose to pursue a subject that doesn't truly interest you, 
then in all likelihood you're not going to be able to talk in the same engaging and truly informed manner as if you did. In this case, being impressive once again comes down to choosing the right field to be in, so that you can truly be a maestro within your subject matter. Again though, there are also some other areas you can actively develop that will help to make any person a more rounded and developed individual. For instance, traveling is something that helps to make all of us more worldly and something that helps all of us to enjoy a better understanding of the world. If you can drop into conversation about how you thought the pyramids compared to the Grand Canyon, or the time you discovered the perfect spot on a beach somewhere in Croatia, then it will add color, knowledge, and experience to your background. Other good areas to develop yourself include your knowledge of health and fitness, of psychology, of literature, of food, of wine, of art, of film, of music. Don't expand to areas that you don't find interesting. Don't try and force yourself to be someone you're not. And recognize that, of course, not everyone is going to be interested in your knowledge of cheese. But if you can expand your general knowledge to include more subjects generally, and if you actively pursue multiple interests, then you will naturally come across as a more rounded individual. Just make sure that, once again, you aren't trying to get approval. Don't desperately try to drop into conversation that you have traveled or it will come across as needy and bragging. Simply allow your prior experiences and knowledge to color what you say naturally. Allow for it to come across and hold back as much as you give away. This way, it becomes apparent that there is much more to you, and that is highly impressive. Listening. But it's not just about being able to talk a lot and show off what you know, or where you've been. Just as important is being able to listen to others and to grasp and understand what they're saying. There's an old adage that says, many of us don't listen to understand, but rather, we listen to respond. Many of us are eager to simply get to our turn, which makes us come across as shallow, impatient, and dense. Instead, we should recognize every interaction with another person as an opportunity to learn more, to expand our experience and our knowledge, and to generally improve ourselves, Try to recognize that there's no such thing as a topic that is boring or irrelevant. Even just learning about other people is incredibly useful and whenever someone speaks, they give away information about themselves. Become an active listener then, and people will feel that what they are saying is truly being understood and processed. Not only is this a highly likable trait, but it's also something that makes you seem switched on and intelligent. Being interested is very much correlated with being intelligent. A tip for active listening is to repeat things back to people. If someone tells you something, try repeating the end of the sentence back to them in order to commit it to memory. In one study, it was found that people tipped their waiters and waitresses higher when they would repeat back their orders to them. This small gesture was enough to show that they had actually been listening, and therefore to make them seem more capable and less likely to make a mistake. Of action. Finally, To come across as more impressive, make sure to be a man or woman of action. In other words, do not be all talk and no trousers. This is another reason why it is a mistake to try and outright tell someone why you're impressive. When you talk about the things you can do, or the things you often do, people will often assume that it really amounts to just that, talk. But if you are seen to simply take action and do things without talking about yourself, then it suggests that you are intrinsically motivated that you are proactive, and that you are someone who is happy to take things into their own hands. An example in your daily life might be to stop telling people about the amazing trip you one day plan to take and to instead just go. Likewise, stop telling people you're going to lose weight and just do it. Don't promise to do something kind or useful and then not follow through. I recently got an incredible opportunity to work with someone, and the reason they gave me the opportunity is that when working with a mutual contact for the previous two years, I never once handed in a project late. I always hit the deadline, which meant they knew they could trust me, take my work seriously, and invest in me. If you say you are going to do something, then don't. You massively harm your own brand. Action points. Okay, so we've already covered a fair bit in this video. What have we learned? Don't try to impress people. There is no substitute for being passionate and truly interested in a topic. Research relevant knowledge prior to a meeting. Develop your general knowledge and experience and let this seep out in conversation naturally. Actively listen and act.